Hello everyone and welcome back to so another video. We are going to be doing a points guide for the brand new final boss Hell. So this brand new Hell final boss is kind of irritating because she has mainly one gimmick. If you have anyone who ranks up uh, at all, whether that's passively or with a skill, she gets 500% basic stats. So we're going to be running this team. This team is the best team for points. You can also use, use one that has Hugh instead of uh, Freya, but I have no idea how the hell they beat that, because I always just get one tapped uh, on the second phase, because second phase is completely broken. Uh, we've got Gelda, which you do kind of need. She's the one who's going to be getting most of the points. you also got Kokutas as well, which you kind of also need for the basic stat boost. Sorry, not basic stat, but just the buffs in general. And of course, Nanashi, which is standard for unknowns. Uh, gear set-wise, Freya's attack crit. Uh, Gelda's uh, HP crit down. Kokutas is HP defense. And then Nanashi's also HP defense as well. Uh, for, the comp for the Oath, we are running no food without Liz. And then clear within eight turns. For Kata, we are running increase all allies attack by eight, uh, three percent, so it'll be nine percent in total. Even though Geller isn't attack based, it'll help out these two on the side, uh, who are gonna have to help deal at least a little bit of damage if we get bad RNG. And uh, yeah, let's get on with it. Okay, here we go. So, cause this is a brand new final boss, new model, new skills, new everything. Of course, the f first phase is always the normal character. So, th there's not really any gimmick apart from these two side pillars, which are kind of irritating. One of them decreases your HP related stats by 20%, the other one decreases your defense related stats by 20%. And they both also increase Hell's defense related stats and HP related stats by, you know, the one, whatever one it is. I think it's 20%. I think they uh, one does HP 20%, one does defense related stats 20%. So, what you really want to do, and this is what I do, I like to rush uh, Freya's ult. If you have them 6-6, six, six, Freya's ult does so much damage, and can be really clutch. Gelda herself isn't going to lifesteal much, because the, the lifesteal lower. We do, of course, have uh, Zeldris Link, which is very crucial for this team, because it increases her lifesteal, I think, by 19%, which is a lot. That's why it's not going to do too much. Uh, also, these guys do some stupid amount of damage as well. That is the same source of pain skill. As you can see, she's critting like normal, normal health stuff. I don't have the Nanashi buff. Um, so she's gonna heal next turn. So I could just I'm got an ultimate, which is kind of stupid. Uh, I'll just do this, do this, and then I'll then play the the skill. See if I can life steal a little bit. Like who uses this damage is quite good. Bear in mind that thing has like she has a lot of defense. As you can see here, let me uh. She get 20% defense, she only get 10% HP, but they actually lower your HP by 20%. So, okay, that's kind of weird. I thought she got the same amount, but apparently not. Um, pulling Kokuta's cards, which is okay, it's not the best, but I guess it's okay. They, this guy also depletes all gauge. I do want to get Freya's ult, if possible, so I, I would like to pull some Freya's skills. He's going to get stunned now, nice. He's also got, he's also got a retard meal because she just hates him, for some reason. Uh, we'll just do this, do this, and then get this. I'm slowly getting his ult. I do need his ult for the second phase. It's fine, that's an attack boost, standard. He can tank this, it's called Cutis. I don't understand what her targeting. Her targeting is really weird. She would just randomly start targeting anyone. It's not like in a way I, where it's like, you can sort of bait into targeting a single person. This one just wants to target anyone and everyone, which is kind of irritating. Because she's so unpredictable. There you go. Kokujas is doing quite good damage now. Fresh also do quite a bit as well, because of course he is. Uh, he likes unknowns. Okay, I don't think Geld is going to do 25%. She did just about. Oh my god, go on, Gelda. Now, this round, or this uh, phase, I just skipped the animation. Uh, we're going to be trying to kill this one. The HP related start one is all we want to kill. We'll use Freya's ult here, that will kill. We then play this as well to lifesteal with Cocutus. And then we'll then play, uh, play this skill with uh, Gelda there. So we kill the HP related start one, she loses the HP, but we also regain our HP related stats. Uh, which is kind of nice. And then Gelda can just one shot. There we go. The second, the first phase is the hardest. Second phase is quite easy, especially if you don't have a rank up. If you have a rank up, second phase is really hard. 
because you somehow got a kill. Uh, the one of the side guys. And uh, there, there we go. You can get 20k points if you. So last time, the reason the way I got 20k points is I ulted with Gelda and she crit somehow. Uh, and that get, she's like two point something million, and then she got the 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 points. But yeah, this team is probably the best team to use. I wouldn't recommend using the Hue team mainly because. It's just kind of more RNG based and more painful, and I wouldn't recommend going through it. Of course, after you've got the points for the points team, just run a farming team because this boss is actually quite kind of easy to farm. There's no stupid gimmicks uh, that would prevent you from farming it. There's no damage cap, so it's much easier to farm. But anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you next one. Goodbye.